Oh. All right. You. Welcome, old family and new family, to Cypher Scholars. Part education, part hip hop, all culture. You're talking with your host, Brandon White, aka Bushido Garvey, as I'm known in many MC circles. And, and, uh, and your friend, Rob Blow. In front of the cameras, behind the cameras. Yes, yes. On the boards. On, on the tech and in person. Show respect. Yeah. So for those who don't know, Boom Bapped, the, for, the show formerly known as Boom Bap <laughs> is now Cypher Scholars. Uh. All right, where we have guests come in on occasion, but we also have conversations of our own about topics that are part local, part global, always universal, and as I said in the beginning, part education, part hip hop, all culture. Appreciate Sun Dula. Thank you, Sun Dula. We got the live popping too. Mm-hmm. Um, so let's hop right into it. Today's syllabus, right, is boom, the policing of black girls in schools. Mm-hmm. Boom, food recalls. Okay. <laughs> and then boom, what's the third joint? I can't believe I oh, forgot already. Cardi B. Cardi B in um, politics. Can't forget that's Cardi right, B that's politics. right. So let's let's get let's get Cypher Scholars <laughs> popping. So let's talk a bit about this incident that happened in Binghamton. Okay, all right. Um, I guess this incident happened um, a little over two weeks ago. Um, it was um, within Binghamton, New York, uh, within the um, Binghamton City School District, where four young girls around the age of 12 were mm-hmm. um, were looked at as acting in a strange behavior by the school administration. They were called in... Um, within the nurse's office, I believe. And um, they claim to have been to have um, strip searched mm-hmm. and um, questioned. Um, all because they were acting giddy. All because they were acting Quote, giddy. unquote, giddy yes. in lunch. Yes. Right? Um, right now, there is, there's a, I think you just said there's an investigation, right? There's an investigation going on. Yes. Um, about it, the governor, Andrew Cuomo, uh, cited this as potential... Uh, yeah. A racial racial um, bias, incident. Yep. Um, and also um, gender bias as well. And gender bias. These are um, four young girls that are black and 12 years old. Mm-hmm. Um, Doing things that all students do in the yeah. lunchroom, acting giddy. Yeah, <laughs> right? So, so th- there's two sides to the story. Like as um, there was an article that I found on New York Times where th- where they talked about. Um, I guess they mentioned both sides of the story in this one. Um, the title of the article was after. Re- after report of four girls stripped and searched at school, Cuomo calls for inquiry. Mm. Um, but in this article, it basically states the size of the parents and states the size of the, um, the school administration or the uh, Binghamton City School District. How are the parents feeling about this? Because I know that in, in what I was reading, they were saying that um, the district was trying to engage with the parents to try to rectify the circumstance. Well, how did the parent? Did it say how the parents felt about it? Um, yep, yep. The parents said that they were not notified of this strip search. Mm. Um, they, mm. they, um, they felt like what else? Uh, I didn't even realize they didn't even know. Oh, yep. They did not know. Um, they didn't give consent as well. And that's another thing too. So they weren't notified by the um, school administration, so as they claim, and they were not. Uh, they did not give consent to strip searching. They um in in the citation that I believe somebody in the Binghamton uh, school district gave, they talked about the policy. It was within policy to strip yes, search yep, these yep. girls. So yeah, that, so they might not even needed. They might quote unquote might not have needed the consent, which is foul. Yeah. Right. Yeah. But like that might have been. They little rationale. See, so, yeah, and that, yeah, um, um, and that was their story right there. Um, yeah. um Actually, the the beast, uh, the Binghamton City School District did their own investigation, right, and they found out that there was no strip search that was being done, right. They also felt like they they did say that they um contacted the parents. Yeah. They um, notified them um, of the strip search. They um, said that they acted in school policy, and they said that um, like when they observe um, strange behavior, they have to do a medical evaluation and go through a certain process when that happens. And I guess that that was the particular process. I guess they said maybe they asked them to remove big bulky clothing to check a pulse or something like that. Maybe, they, maybe um, that could have been um, the story behind that. Like maybe that's their side of the story. Right. Because in Color for Change, they were. They, Maybe it is their side in color for change. They were saying that there were four girls that got accused 
uh, and and indicted on getting this charges, mm-hmm. right? Yep, yep. <laughs> getting this charges. Yep, okay, and yep. then um, four girls got indicted, which is crazy, right? But three of them were subject to the strip search. Mm-hmm. One of them refused. Mm-hmm. And yep, um, yep. got ISS. Yep. For those who don't know, ISS is in school suspension. So she got suspended because she didn't want to get stripped down to a draws over laughing. See, see, but, and that, that's the thing though. It's like if you look on both sides of the story, and this article that I'm talking about, it mentions all of that. Like on both sides of the like on on the parent side, they're saying that the the kids did get um, suspended or whatever, right? But on the administration side, they're saying that no, there was no suspension or anything like that. Nobody didn't get in trouble. There was no punishment. Do, you know so, I mean? so, so let me ask you. The administration you, is refuting everything that the parents are saying. So let me ask you, um, if, if if the administration is saying there was no suspension, mm-hmm. you know how you know how the the the, the school systems work here. Technically, ISS mm-hmm. is not a suspension. Mm-hmm. In school suspension, technically, is not a suspension mm-hmm. on the yep, books. Still, yeah, okay. So mm-hmm. maybe like maybe maybe they play with the language, and this is what I'm saying. Like I, I'm I'm sorry. I, I, this is one of those things where, like, I, I've seen too much patternized, le- legalistic kind of behavior with school policy, mm-hmm. where they're kind of like, oh, well, technically we didn't break a rule because it says in our rule book that if something seems a little sus- suspect, we have the right to do this. Yep. But, you know, what's deemed a suspect can be, frequently be done through biased lens, right? Um, and <laughs> and then you tell... And then they say, oh, there wasn't a suspension. Nobody got suspended. It, technically, nobody did get suspended because yeah, yeah. ISS doesn't have to be on the books. Yeah. <laughs> so I, I don't know, man. I, I mean, it's just bugged to me. And it just matches with what's, what's happening with black girls in, in schools nationwide. Like yeah. in, in the article I was reading, it was saying that um, well, black girls are six times more likely yeah, yeah, to be suspended yes. than their white counterparts with the same kind of you know yep. infractions. Yep. So. Yep. That, that is um, true. There is a higher percentage in... Um, Suspension with um, black and brown kids versus um, the the white counterparts. Yeah, but um, you know that like in situations like this, you know that this is like a <laughs> this is a crazy um, line to tread on right here. Um, but there's a third party inve- investigation that is being done that um, the Binghamton City School District has um, um, hired someone to do. Um, and also, you know, Andrew Cuomo, as you mentioned earlier, yeah. is um. Asking the school board of education to um, um, jump in and do an investigation too. So, yeah, I mean, this is an ongoing um, situation, and yeah. see what's going on with that. Man. Yeah, man, but, I, yeah, it's terrible though. Man. I, I hope know. it gets rectified. Yeah. Uh, color of change, which is a a very um, effective and widespread activist network. Yeah, okay. They're calling for the firing of the assistant principal and the mm, nurse who did it. I didn't know that. Whoa. They're calling for culturally competent training on behalf of the district and the people in the school included and a couple other things. Mm, um so okay. you know, we'll, 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 know I mean we'll we'll see yeah, we'll, we'll see what happens, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so yeah, this it's, it's it's still foggy. It's still jaded out here, but Yeah. Yeah, hopefully yeah. We'll, we'll get some clarity on this. And I, and you know what, man? I think because this happened at this point two weeks ago, actually, yeah. right? Yeah. Yep. Like Jan- January, uh, mid January is. Yeah, I think the story. Yeah. Well, Matt, well, no, what? No, I'm thinking of the other story we're talking about. Because this. No, no, no. This happened around two weeks ago too. Word. Yep. Okay. Yep. I like, so. I think that the fact that it's so delayed has to do with the fact that they are black girls. You yep. know what I'm saying? Like. Yeah, I know. Yeah, you know. It, it, I mean, you know, like I said before, like this, this is something. Like trading on this is like, it's like stepping on eggshells, man. So I don't know. It's, it doesn't feel comfortable. It doesn't um, feel good. Yeah. You know what I mean? So yeah. No, the, just the very thought that they would get strip search at twelve is just a little sickening. Yeah. Uh, to me, for sure. Um, thank you all the listeners on live. Joe Rib. Appreciate you, Godzillas. Cheer. Sundula was on deck earlier. Cheer. I, I really hope these little um, emoji emotions aren't popping up in the live because I, I didn't ask for any of this. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I don't want that. <laughs> yeah, that is, that's not what Cypher Scholars is all about. <laughs> but um, so to our on-air listeners, we're gonna we're gonna transition into the third, the second part of the syllabus. Mm. Which are these food recalls? These mm. food recalls. So that are, are 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 mid-level. 
news. Not mm-hmm. even mid, like mid to low level news that's going on right now. Let's mm-hmm. let's talk about it a bit, Rob. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I'm glad that you even said that. Yeah, it's you not, the, you, it's not you, good. You, you the you the health king. No. I, I get I gotta give I gotta give props where props is due. I can't stun on this one. Uh, you be you be on the health news more than most folks. So not at all, my let, friend. Let, let not the at all, know. man. But I do like to stay. Yes, yeah, so, so I, I try to follow follow up on a lot of these current events, especially when it comes to food and other things. But um. Like yeah, these um, recalls is, is very um, what's the word? They're very um, consistent right there. They're being a little too consistent right now with these recalls, man. Like, like I didn't even notice, but there was a recall right before Thanksgiving. Yeah. You know what I mean? Uh, yeah. Uh, of a, uh, was of it a the certain beef? product? It was like a turkey. Was it a turkey? Product okay. Or something like that. But it was right like before it was in Thanksgiving. A, it was in a certain yeah. type of. It was a branding in a certain package or something. Mm. Like that. I'm not even sure what, what the name of the brand was, but. Yeah, there's like there's so many recalls that's been going on. I can't even keep up with them, kind of, man. The you know um, I mean? like CBS News says that the amount of recalls between 2013 mm-hmm. and 2018 for meat and poultry mm-hmm. jumped up 83 mm-hmm. percent. Yep, that is true. That's true. 83 yeah. percent. Yeah, I, actually, the um, so the, so CBS is quoting. Uh, article that was that came from the public the United States Public Interest Interest Research Group. Yep. All right. So so Which basically they did a five year study. Yep. It's independent. Yep. They did a five year study between the years of 2013 to 2018, and mm-hmm. they found a um, with meat and poultry products they found a 83 percent increase, and with pro- processed foods and um, and produce they found a two percent increase. Two percent. But you know the, what? Um, five year period. You know what's ironic about that though? Like the way that the media tries to quote unquote educate the public mm-hmm. you would have thought that the produce was the problem mm-hmm. because all you was hearing in the news yeah, for the longest exactly. was romaine lettuce uh-huh. and spinach romaine lettuce spinach we're, we're, we're gonna get into that we're gonna get, we're gonna get into why yeah. why um the produce and the, the, the lettuce the produce was being contaminated with um what salmonella yeah salmonella oh, no. was yeah, yeah salmonella yeah, yeah, yeah. no, no, yep. no, e. coli it was e. coli i think it's a, like been a mix salmonella of both of them are problems e. e. coli was on the um, produce i believe okay yeah you're right you're right usually yep, yep. I mean, that's so, usually the case yep. yep um but yeah yeah like so basically um yeah the public interest research group had um did this five-year study they found the 83 percent increase in meat and poultry products and they found a two percent increase in um in the produce and the processed foods right mm-hmm. um like like when you look into a story like this you'll see um statistics like one in six americans get sick and because of that um, three thousand die within the course of a year. That's a lot. You know of, I mean, that's a lot of people. That's a lot of people, man. I, I forget um, um how many people died nine eleven, but I think it was around that. Like it was in the th- like the low thousands mm-hmm. that, that died as a result of nine eleven related deaths. So imagine, and I'm actually kind of taking this little analogy from what the health. I think imagine if nine eleven happened once a year, mm. and that's almost like similar numbers in terms of people dying from salmonella from poorly checked meats exactly nah. <laughs> um and why, and why do you think it's um it's poorly checked what, what, what do you think is going on in the um slaughterhouses what do you think is going on mm. in um in these um processing plants or whatever you know what i mean, I mean um um like so so like like you, you might have problems like um the feeding the food that is given to the um cows or the chicken or etc right they, mm-hmm. they might not get the proper diet right like cows are supposed to eat grass right yeah um chickens are supposed to eat what i don't know no, that's a good point but not know, not, whatever, not but whatever like not the not the corn yep yep they, not, they feed not them not the antibiotics yep they feed them not the mush. gmos mm-hmm. you know what i'm saying not 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 uh, soy pellets and all that yeah stuff exactly like that. not not I, I remember for a while i don't know if it was chickens but with some sort of livestock the feed incorporated like um, the parts of other animals. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Of like mm. of the of their species. You know what I'm saying? Like for for a while, I don't know if they still do that, but that that's been a thing too. And where they live, they're corralled, and where they walk, eat, and defecate are all within the same very close quarters. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know like what when, I'm when, when, like, it's, when it comes to farming and stuff like mm-hmm. that, yeah, like it's close. It's basically close quartered. Areas for these animals, right? Mm. Um, also, like, 
Like you also talking about water irrigation. Yeah, that, you know they talked mean? about that a lot. They mentioned yeah. that right in there, right? Like yeah. the water could be contaminated with um and that's a part of the reason of how the produce could probably have gotten contaminated. They probably mm-hmm. watered it with contaminated with water. Yep. You know what I mean? Exactly. So they're looking they gotta look what? into water irrigation systems. We, we, um, we, why are they using the same water? That isn't that the isn't that the bug part? Like why is the water that you know had salmonella or E. coli or whatever contagions in it? Mm-hmm. Why is that anywhere near the cleaning process for the foods? You know what I'm saying? Like yeah, I feel you. Like I, that's wild. I, yeah, it's a little that's a little wild, man. And, I mean, and you also could look at um, the storms that hit some of these farms too. Like because right, there was right. a storm that hit um, earlier this year. And it, it damaged some of the farms and it killed some of the animals. Word? So, okay. like, I, I can't remember exactly um, which farms were hit or in, in what state, but yeah, that also is a factor too, man. Like, so the animals are all over the fields, like for miles, maybe. You right, know what I mean? right, right, right. Um, and they're not even being taken care of. Like, they're riding in the soil, et cetera, like that. You know, mm. basically. And they also had this terrible, just had this terrible diet that we just was talking about. Where, where they're not getting fed the proper diet, the animals we're talking, you know what I mean? So, where, did, um, did you uh, see what the uh, National Chicken Council said as a retort no, of these facts? No. National, but you had, you had uh, said something mm. similar, though. The, they made the argument that, um, and I quote, any increase in recalls could be attributed to tighter government yep, standards, yep, better uh, testing yep. and technology, which might be the case, but... To your point again, three thousand deaths. Yep. Like that. That's not. That's not. That has nothing to do with the recalls. That's everything to do with the the, the problems with the food. You know what I'm saying? Like, so. Um, I mean, you said you said it, man. Like, improved. They said improved technology and government and tight government standards could be. Well, that's what you just said. Yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah, that, yeah. Tighter that could, government standards, better testing and technology. Like, yo, improvements in technology. How can improvements in technology? And make a help in, in an increase of recalls of right. meat and poultry and all this other stuff that we're talking about. Wouldn't you know, it? Like, wouldn't it? Wouldn't it? Pre- what about the technology? Right. And if the mean? technology was better, wouldn't it have prevented the meat from getting out there in the first place? Exactly. You know. <laughs> you know? I, th- I think actually, I think what you and in that, I think in that same um, article, maybe I'm not even sure, but um, somebody said, that, well, I guess there's going to be some improvements on pathogen-free. Yeah. Um, um, meat, uh, um, poultry, and um, processed foods and stuff like that. You know, what I mean? I'll believe like, it when I see it. But, but, you, but, <laughs> yo, come on now. You, you got technology, man. Like, you, you got GMOs, right? You have um, organic stuff. You got like this whole entire system of how they um, package a food, you know, or prepare meat, etc. You know what I mean? But, um, like, yo, w- within this five-year period, the let me let me say this real quick. Within the five year period, poultry had a, a re, 168 recalls within the five year period. 168 beef, recalls. Beef That's had 137 recalls. recalls. <laughs> over 120. Pork had 128 recalls That's within crazy. the five year period, man. Right. So That's poultry wild. took poultry is number one. Beef yeah. is number two. Pork is number three. Which isn't that okay. kind of interesting? Because like you know, in folks who are. Uh, who are or who are conscious? We'll just use that term, quote unquote, conscious, right? Mm-hmm. Like the first thing they de- declare as debaucherous in terms of their food is pork. Mm-hmm. But you just noted that chicken was the mm-hmm. most problematic mm-hmm. in terms right, of the right. recalls. Yeah, you know, when people go healthy, right? Sometimes people it's put like, down the red meat and go into yep, the poultry. Go into right? the poultry. So you, you, yeah. you know what I mean, you better watch. You better start paying attention to the CDC, the yeah. Center for. Um, for con- uh, well, uh, CDC for stands for control. Yep. Thank you, yep, and the yep, um yep. and the Food and Drug Administration, also known as the FDA. You gotta pay, start paying attention to these guys. Go to their websites, yeah. man. Um, pay attention to the recalls and all that, man. Also, yo, I want to mention round before we jump off any of this stuff, man. Let's talk about the roundup, man. Mal Santo. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to talk about how, like, when we talk about processed foods and stuff like that, we're talking about um maybe cereal. We're talking about pot, box. We're talking about box items, etc. You know what I mean? So we're. Like, That's you wanna, real. You want to talk about that real no, quick? No, absolutely, or, man. I like, mean, me- remember we was um, we was looking up uh, article. Excuse me, um, goods <clears throat> that use the Ready Roundup that has the Ready Roundup gene in the GMO in the GMO products. Mm-hmm. And I was like shocked because a yeah, lot of it. these were like you know so, so quote health. unquote like health foods like yep. kind bars. Yep, kind bar. You know what I'm saying? Um, back to nature back was to, one of them. Yeah, was Nature Valley one of them too? I'm not sure about I Nature forget. Valley, but yeah, Nature I Valley should... did have a recall too though. Oh, okay. Now I remember yep. um, last year or something like that. Um, yeah. Maybe last year, two years ago, Nature Valley had a recall as well. So yeah, like, and you know, you know, it's interesting. And one thing I do respect about 
um, the curriculum that, because you know we 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 work in the middle school, we have middle school backgrounds. One thing I respect about that curriculum is, you know, the book that they, one of them books that they got to read is Omnivore's Dilemma. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. By I Michael Pollan. Yep, yep. um, they got to they got to read that um, in in the English, uh, excuse me, the uh, what's it called the expeditionary learning uh, curriculum. Okay. They got to so they get so they get to soak up you know some of this information mm-hmm. about uh, you know how the food industry is run and uh, you know things to pay attention to. Mm-hmm. Um, I think they even bring up like you know. I forget. It's been a while since I uh, went over that text, but they might even bring up the Ready Roundup, um, Monsanto stuff. You know what I'm saying? Yep. Um, um, yeah, yeah. Like, yo, like, yeah, the Ready Roundup, like, like, to just to explain how it gets into the processed foods, like, um, your cereals, your your um, granola bars, um, maybe some of your some of your butters, maybe Ritz yeah, crackers, right? Um, goldfish crackers, all of that stuff, man. Is um. Like the ingredients that they um use to put in in it first of all, and also what they spray upon the ingredients. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So like with Roundup, it, it's used as a um way to control it's pests. It's right? herbicide. It's herbicide. Yeah. Right. It's a way. To, you pesticide know what I mean? and herbicide. Yep. Yeah. So you're trying to control pests. You don't want um your your crops to get damaged, right? So you spray mm-hmm. this stuff on there, right? But over time, it gets into the soil, right? The yep. maybe the roots soak it up or whatever. Um, but then that ingredient, the wheat ingredient, gets used in back to nature, um, right. or it gets used in some of these other products and all that, and then mm-hmm. you got your contamination that way. So Word. I just, I just want to make that clear for those that, that's like, yo, how did how does get in cereal and all this? I can't eat anything. You know what I mean? That's yeah. that's one way. That's one example of how it gets into your cereal, the granola bars, or whatever else, man. Pay attention to your ingredients, man. One thing you got to do is ingredient shop. I like to ingredient yeah, shop yeah, as a yeah, customer, yeah. man. Yep. You got to ingredient shop, man. Yeah, that's a that's a fact. You know that's I mean? a fact. And sometimes it's it's hard to navigate it, and and it's hard to figure out. It, it can you can feel trapped. You know what I'm saying? Like yep. it's yeah, like, it's oh crazy. man, it's got this. I can't. You, yep. it, sometimes you feel like you can't win for losing, but the fact that you are thinking about it makes you better off than where you were. That, that's half the battle. Thinking about it. You that's know what half I'm the saying? battle, man. Let me relieve some of your stress, man. Um, yeah, man. In addition to thinking about Roundup. Mm. Um, one, one, you know, like there, there are companies involved in our food process, pro, uh, food processing that never get mentioned. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? It's because they're not a part of the brand of the food. Like when you think of meat, most mm. people think of like McDonald's. Mm. They think about Burger King, mm. Wendy's, okay. Tyson, even mm-hmm. Purdue, right? But there are processors that are like the, they're the supplier, okay. they're the connect, they're the plug. Yep. JBS Tolson is a major plug okay. for yeah. for for people who need meat, like like the different grocers, uh, the, the Kroger's of the world. JBS you know, what I'm saying? yeah, J- JBS Tolson. Yep, JBS Tolson, okay. and, and they had like millions of pounds of meat recalled just in the past five months. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, it's 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 important to even think about that too. You know? But, oh my god I remember even seeing the Like I was um, Going through um, Just doing some research On some of these recalls I remember seeing A, a video on um, Spam being recalled Because it had um, Well you know Spam Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> Spam ain't even Trying even to know, pretend it, like, like it's something <laughs> I don't even know man This is crazy man Like in the Tyson In the Tyson Nuggets What, what was in it Oh word it? We didn't even talk, talk about, about that what, what was in some of these Like yes. why did some of these Foods get recalled What was What so was found in some of these foods man? So Please, with the with the Tyson, the Tyson jump off Which happened like recently in the past couple weeks within the past couple weeks rubber and wood was believed to found be found in the Tyson chicken that's the in that's the Tyson chicken nuggets come on man why on earth would there be rubber and wood within the same confines of a, a chicken nugget factory if it was only chicken Mm-hmm. Like, why are they even in the same space? Valid question, man. Like, why are they even in the same space? I mean, it'll explain the taste of most chicken nuggets. You know what I'm saying? Like, when you really think about it, they're mad spongy. Mm. Chicken nuggets. Really? Are mad I don't spongy. know. I've I mean, it's chicken, been a while since you've been on that way. I've only been plant based or vegan, whatever you want to call it, for like a year. Know. You know what I'm saying? But chicken nuggets on the whole do not taste like. The chicken that you bake or make or fry wow, or whatever—it's kind of spongy. It's kind of spongy. Even mm-hmm. if they say it's all white meat, you know what I'm saying? Like, see, last time I ate a chicken nugget was a very long time ago. I don't even want to say, but oh, bro. yeah, no. I but mean, I remember last time I ate chicken nuggets, they had like these little heart pieces in there. I used to get chicken <laughs> yeah. nuggets from um, Wendy's. Yeah, Wendy's, like Wendy's, used to have the, or, um, Wendy's yeah, yeah, for the yeah they, pieces. yeah, they had those little um, it was like little brown pieces, like, heart pieces. Yeah, yeah. And I remember like <laughs> even seeing videos or even reading about like um, these guys just. 
slaughtering the entire chicken, including yeah. the beak, the toes, and everything like that. And maybe yeah. that could no, be all contributed that is to and stuff up. like that. Yeah, yeah. All that is ground I mean, up. Whole facts. Absolutely. They don't, even cop, they don't cut off the beaks for you, man. Hey, so peace, you even know. Peace, Josh. <laughs> it's crazy. Yeah, man. No, it's for sure, man. For sure. You um, know what I'm saying? Anything else in the in the recalls? Like, I, what was it? You said um, pieces of wood and um, it was a wood and rubber. Rubber. Oh my yeah. god. Black. Which again, you know, but like oh. I remember in that book, like in that book that the kids had to read, Omnivore's Dilemma, in the in that in that curriculum, it cites how chicken nuggets, um, at McDonald's have 33 ingredients. Really? There should Whoa. be like maybe three ingredients in chicken nugget. Wow. Breading, oil, chicken. Yeah. Basically. But there's 33 according to Omnivore's Dilemma by Michael Pollan in the in that in the and even in the young adult I didn't know version. That. Wow, okay. Which is like still rigorous for the kids. 33. 33. Yeah, that's, that's so you know, it wouldn't you know, and there's all these additives to kind of cut again, the plug mm-hmm. cuts. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Cuts it before the steps deal on, even steps cuts on the, steps on you the. You know what I'm saying? Steps on the going product. Going to the factory, <laughs> stepped on the product. <laughs> Indeed, like, uh, they stepped all over it. Q Dog <laughs> stepped on it. You know what I'm saying? Right. We got like we got like four minutes, so we got to okay, hop okay, in so the so into politics. Quick, but man. peace to all our listeners on live. Josh, appreciate you, homie. I was actually just listening to your uh, interview and podcast um, um, through the Education Nomad. Man, you are a word surgeon. Definitely am uh, taking notes. Hey, brother Matos, Mr. Matos is listening. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Our fellow teacher, okay, okay. a fellow scholar. Okay, okay. Um, let's talk about Cardi B real quick and her and her uh, political status right now, yo. So yeah, all right, let's get into that, man. So <laughs> yeah, a lot of people is gonna feel um, indifferently about Cardi B, man. Yeah. Some people are gonna be on her team. Some people is definitely gonna be against her, man. Like, um, you know, yeah, yes, she's. What ratchet, so called, you know, she she might use the vernacular crazy, you know, or right, right, right. you know, the standard English, not using broken language, man. Standard English not not might be all the way there, broken. you know. No, I ain't even broken. I mean, you know, just, just saying, you know, it, it's 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 street dialect, street slang, all street, that street stuff. dialect, yes, you know, mix mix with um. You know, African American vernacular. You know, I know she's Trin. I think she's Trinidadian and Dominican, but it's clear that she has adopted some of those language norms. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? Yep, yep. And as we saw yeah. do when we, when you know, you know, whatever. But right, right, regardless, right. man. Yeah. So let's look at her background. Yes, yeah, she was on um, um, TV shows, uh, the reality TV shows. I don't, right, I don't right, watch right. any of this stuff, man. So I don't know any of the names. Please pardon me. Please forgive me. <laughs> You know what I mean? Please forgive me, but um, like hi, Rod, yeah, Rod, you talking about Cardi B? I told you last year, <laughs> stop sleeping. <laughs> you know what I mean, but um, I, I know one thing that that one of her backgrounds is that um, she went to school for what? Political science. Political science, man. When, when she was uh, when she was caught up, when she was stripping, uh. one of the things when she was you know trying to go to school was like she was into humanities and political science. There's a there's an old Vlad TV interview. Mm-hmm. Where she taught, where she mentions that real fast, and, mm-hmm. it, and it reflects in the things that she's talked about. Yep, yep. She's, uh, you know, uh, even though she doesn't in the in the ways that we talk yep, about, like yep. she doesn't do it, in, you know, yeah, and maybe in a way that that's acceptable to a lot of people mm-hmm. and the masses, I guess. You know what I mean? But that Chris Emden actually, this dude here calls it rat, ratchet demics, mm-hmm. ratchet ratchet academic, ratchet demics, ratchet demics. Where you're ratchet your authentic academics. self, right? But you're still. A critical thinker and a critical articulator, yep. and that's what she's that's what she's been. Yeah, and I, I think people got to see her for for that, man. You know, I, that's why I brought that up. You know what I mean? But, Word. Um, but yeah, yeah. So there was a situation that she went through a couple of days ago. Like, um, yep. I got some somebody. There was a party, a Democratic party in Iowa, right? Mm-hmm. That wanted her to come through and speak at her at any engagement that she chooses, right? Right, right, right. Um, to the um, folks there, and I guess get them get. It get them interested in, in the activism that's been um, popping off. So, I, I mean, recently, I guess you know what I mean. So, I'm a fan of Cardi speaking her political mind the way that she chooses to. I'm a fan of that. She's you know spoken out about uh, taxes, the taxes issues. She's spoken out about um what was going on in um 
Oh, oh remember um, the slavery that was happening in a, an African country? Yeah. Um, there was a slavery that she spoke out on that, okay. like, and, and had, like, you know, good insights on that. She spoke out on the government shutdown yep. very clearly yep. in a ratchet demic. Was way. it Libya? Was she talking about something in Libya? I, yeah, yes. I think it was Libya. It might have been Libya. It was definitely an African country. Yeah, yeah. Something and she like spoke that. out on that. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? A lot of these other rappers ain't speaking on none of these issues. Mm-hmm. You know very what I'm true. saying? Very true. Very true. She might have a ghostwriter. She might be ratchet, but she's speaking out on issues that mad at these rappers ain't. Yep. But at the same time, I don't think she should speak at the Democratic Party. Yeah, I, I kind of. I don't want her. I don't want her opinions to be used to, uh, in this duopoly of Democrat and Republican. The same way Kanye got used mm-hmm. by Republicans like Trump and all them in the you, MAGA okay. era. Yep. I don't want her used by the more slick versions of, of the, the Democratic Party. Yeah, I got you. Know you. What I'm saying? I got like, you, man. I mean, but you know, like that. That's partly. Um, I mean, yeah, yeah. I, I definitely agree with you on that, man. I, I just hope that she's able to navigate. Um, if she does choose to speak at any of these engagements yeah. in Iowa, um, I hope that she's um, has a clear head and choose to navigate very well I hope uh, so within too, her um, yeah. choice. Man, so I think it, yeah. To that point, I definitely think that if she uh, navigates right, mm-hmm. it, it won't be a damage. You know what yes, I'm saying? Yes, yeah, yeah. Because but it, um, if she don't, like she could easily just be, you know, uh, a pawn in that. You know what I'm saying? Uh-huh. So, but I think she, I think she, she got the the, the sense to you know be able to ha- have that discernment. Yeah, yo, so man, we got time yeah, already, yeah. son. It's just uh. 30 minutes. Yo, you just been listening to Cypher Scholars. Shit. Catch us every Tuesday from 1.30 to 2 on Wayo 104.3 FM. Wayo, way out there. You can catch us online. Check us out on Facebook. Peace and progress.